Okay, so hi there folks. Um, we are now in our next video in Science, Technology, and Society. And we're here to talk about technology as a way of revealing. So what is the essence of technology in, in, our, in our world? So we have two types of definition of what technology or the essence of technology is. So we have first the instrumental definition, which talks that technology is a means to an end. Okay, it's a means to an end. And number two, it's the anthropological definition. Technology is a human activity. Okay, and we have m maybe, if you can remember in the first video, that a technology is the application of science. So um, actually, there's no, there's no, there's no dispute here of what dispute of what is correct. Okay, actually, both definitions are correct. Uh, however, neither touches the true essence of technology, that is the application of science. And we have here the next vid next slide that will present Heidegger's view on technology. So Heidegger or Heidegger, a technology as a way of revealing. That is Heidegger's view. Okay, for technology. Um, this is Martin Heidegger. He's uh, a German philosophy philosopher rather, and one of his um, important parts of his um, philosophy is about the view on technology. So Heidegger stressed that the truth can only be pursued through the correct ways. Simply, what is correct leads to what is true. In this sense, he envisioned technology as a way of revealing, a mode of bringing forth. Okay, so it's a mode of bringing forth. So bringing forth can be understood through the ancient Greek philosophical concept, phoesis, which refers to the act of bringing something out of concealment so you're bringing it forth so meaning you're you're taking out okay you're disclosing it shall we say you're i'm taking out of concealment you're not concealing it anymore so by bringing something out out of concealment the truth of that something is being revealed okay so therefore it's the way of revealing the truth is understood through another ancient greek concept of aletheia which is translated as unclosedness unconcealedness or disclosure like i said or the truth because it, it's disclosed so therefore it's telling about about the truth that's aletheia technology is a form of poesis it's a way of revealing that unconceals the aletheia or the truth okay so it's a form of poesis it's revealing aletheia the truth okay that's technology um under the view of heidegger in philosophy techni we have also another Greek term, resembles the term episteme, that refers to the human ability to make and perform. Techne also encompasses knowledge and understanding. In art, it refers to tangible and intangible aspects of life. And the Greeks understood techne in the way that it encompasses not only craft, but other acts of the mind, and also poetry, of course. So technology as voices. So the next question will be, does modern technology brings forth is it bringing forth or is it challenging forth hmm. okay so based on heidegger in his paper the, co the question concerning technology or maybe some part of one journal one article he postulated that both primitive crafts and modern technology are revealing it's a way of revealing however he explained that modern technology is revealing not in the sense of bringing forth it's revealing the the revealing of modern technology is not bringing forth it's challenging forth that's um, in the perspective of Heidegger modern technology challenges nature by extracting something from it and transforming storing and distributing it it makes people think how to do things faster more effectively and also with less effort I tell you challenging forth reduces objects as standing reserve or something to be disposed disposed of by those who can inframe them okay that is we humans who can inframe them this is evident in the way people exploit nature uh, natural resources with very little concern for the ecological consequences that come with it in this information age greater control of information to, pr to profit from it from its value gives rise to concerns about privacy and protection of the human rights rise and depletion of petroleum as a strategic resource 
introduction and the use of synthetic dyes, artificial flavorings, and toxic materials into the consumer stream that brings about adverse and bad effects in our human health. We used to write agents, writing agents in agriculture that poses threats to food safety and health security. Okay, so these are um, why some of the the reasons why it's challenging forth instead of bringing forth that is technology. Okay, so what we're going to do next is the inframing of modern techno modern technologies way of revealing. So we're going to inframe that. So Heidegger distinguished the way of revealing of modern technology by considering it as a process of inframing. So inframing, according to Heidegger, is akin in two ways. So we have the first way is calculative thinking. Humans desire to put an order to nature to better understand and control it. So we want to control it. And number two is the meditative thinking, whereas we humans allowed nature to reveal itself to them without the use of force or violence. But try to think of it. We always tend to use the first one, the calculative thinking, that we desire to put on order to, to nature to better understand and control it. So this tends to be more commonly utilized, primarily because humans desire to control due to the fear of irregularity. We want all things to be regular, though we know that the only constant thing in the world is change. So we calculate thinking. It's more technical kind of human thought in which people gather information and put it together in order to put it to some specific use, okay, to some specific use. And framing is a way of ordering or framing, shall we say from the word framing, nature to better manipulate it. And framing happens because of how humans desire for security. Even it pulls all nature as a standard reserve and an instrument of technology to be exploited, you know, in ordering, in the ordering of nature. The role of humans as instruments of technology through and framing is called destining. In destining, humans are challenged forth by and framing to reveal what is real. However, this destining of humans to reveal need your carries um, carries with it the danger of misconstruction or misinterpretation okay so it carries with dangers of course so what are the these dangers of technology here so it lie on how humans let themselves by let themselves be consumed by it the responsibility of humans is to recognize how do you do how do you become instruments of technology according to paulo Coelho, Coelho, uh, he's an author, it is boastful for humans to think that nature needs to be saved, whereas Mother Nature would remain even if humans cease to exist. As a mere tenant of the earth, people must not allow themselves to be consumed by technology, lest they lose the essence of who they are as human beings. In this sense, humans are in danger of becoming merely a part of the standing reserve. Or, alternatively, we find themselves in nature. Okay, so more on, recognizing the dangers of technology requires critical and reflective thinking on its use. For instance, social media, try to, try to imagine, social media has indeed connected people in the most efficient, convenient way imaginable. But it also inadvertently gave rise to issues such as invasion of privacy, online disinhibition, and proliferation of fake news. And we all know that. Okay, lastly, in this topic, we're going to talk about the art as the saving power. So necessary reflection upon the confrontation with technology are required in order to proactively address the dangers of technology. According to Friedrich Holderlin, 1977, from his book on page 14, but where danger is, grows the saving power also. Now, according to Heidegger, he proposed that art is a saving power, is that saving power, and the way out of inframing. And art was simply called techni. It was a single manifold revealing, said Heidegger. So art encourages humans to think less from calculative standpoint, where nature is viewed as an ordered system. Instead, it inspires meditative thinking, the second one, the second, if you can remember, the medit meditative thinking, where nature is seen as art and that without any force and violence. Okay, so yeah, that's it for our topic in technology as a way of revealing. Um, this is my source. 
here of this topic. Um, if you have some questions in mind, you can of course just rewatch this video, replay for those things that you want to clarify to yourself. Um, again, this is part of the Science, Technology, and Society playlist. And okay, this is where it ends, the topic technology as a way of revealing. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget okay, to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you soon for more upcoming videos. So thank you very much for watching. Okay, see ya.